This is Lin Qi and brush painting for beginners. And as we're just turning from September, the end of September to October, and you will see the fall is right on the corner. And in some of the East Coast area, the fall is already here. And then all the marketing now, uh, market uh, is featuring pumpkins. So this is a very fun subject, and um, uh, especially for beginners. And uh, I'm going to do a few things. You can experiment as I'm going along, and then I'll introduce the supply I'm going to use. So I have two brushes that mostly I'm going to use, the full lotus and the twig brush. And then um, I'm using, for the first set, I'm using gouache, Da Vinci gouache white with um, yellow chunks. Which, um, if you didn't attend our full um, virtual color session and check it out uh, with our staff. We had 350 some uh, customer that qualify, but we got uh, less than 20 attendants. But people who came in that was just excited about the information we gave. We don't, even though we don't take step by step to uh, teach you how to paint, but we are giving you some very essential information that you can use for your painting uh, enjoyment. And we had a mounting session, we had a paper session, and last one was the um, color uh, session. And then in November, the first week of November, we will have a brush session. These are all informative on how to use your equipment. So anyway, back on the first very simple uh, demo, which is um, gouache, Da Vinci gouache white with yellow chunks and chip indigo, and then chip indigo mixed with the yellow. So this is the first one I'm going to use. And then the paper I'm using is the, um, the Jinghe paper which is, has about 30% um, sizing onto it. And um, I was testing it for a customer for doing landscape. So this paper is from Taiwan, and um, sometimes people call it pineapple um, paper because it does have some uh, pineapple fiber, leaf fiber into it. And uh, it's sturdy and have 30% sizing, and I'm going to show you how to play with the sizing in the pumpkin. So the first one, I'm going to use the twig brush with ink for the top. And then the full loader, full lotus brush back on the twig. So this is like a bracket. So this is where I get get uh, guide all my stroke for the pumpkin. 
and then I'm using Da Vinci gouache white to do the is essential. So this is like um, kind of pale yellow. Pumpkin that you see a lot of times they are mostly uh, kind of squatty in the market. I just saw some very pretty ones at Trader Joe for a very, very reasonable price. Okay, and then I'm using the pre-mixed green. So I'm using make it wet a little bit so the stroke will be a little bit more softer because it has sizing it so it will let me play with it. So I use the paper towel, just tap it. Yeah. You won't see it when it's dry. So I I will have Evan film some finished products on the side on the side table which I had them. So this is the first one. And then the second one, I'm going to do also on the size Jinghua paper. Similar top. This time I'm going to use the companion set with the yellow and mix with the vermilion and and mix. So Red as I go on the side stroke, so it is so orange, red, a little bit um, carmine, and a little bit brown. So then I'm doing the side stroke, so which is darker. So 
So while it's wet, I'm using a little bit ink. A little green. Because the sizing will give me the chance to play with it. So this side where the light coming through, it's a little thinner. We're going to do is with a little bit um, complete composition, and uh, it's inspired by Ning Ye's 108 Flower Book Four. So there is a pumpkin, and I'm doing it the simplified the uh, pumpkin session uh, page. So it's on page 47. And I'll put it on here. So you can use um, the companion set completely to do this um, composition. And I will show it to you. So I used the companion set screen. And as our color virtual session is that this companion green is kind of harsh. So I usually add a little bit of ochre in there to soften it up. I can also add yellow to it. So this is my green from the companion set. And then I will use some indigo on the side of it. The indigo also is a little harsh and you can add a little of your ink. to make the indigo a little bit better. So you can use the budget, convenient, the companion set, but you just a little bit tweak a little bit. And I will show you side by side. This is the yellow chunk with chip indigo, and this is a chip indigo. You can see side by side the color difference. And I will also show you on the paper, what does it do for you? All right, so we will start with the um, twig brush. You can use your small flow if you have it. And then with Green, a little bit tip indigo, and tip a little bit ink. So we will do the
So this will start with the pumpkin. And then I'm using the the full lotus brush. You can use your large flow. Definitely it's good to to do this too. And I start with the companion set yellow and mix a little bit with vermilion and then I soften the tip. And so I'm doing So you can see my pumping almost in shape. Then on the side, I would tip a little bit red, carmine, and brown, and then make a darker um, red. So this is my pumpkin. And then on the top, I'm going to do some leaves. On the composition that from Ning Ye's book has flowers, we'll eliminate that. We do some leaves and twigs. So then I will start with, you show you how to do it with companion set, the pre-mix color. So. So this is the lighter green, and I'm also doing it on the side. So now I'm using the the red, the yellow chunk with um, it's the chip indigo. You can see the color differences. So you can see this two color, this is much richer. And then we are using the premix chunk yellow with indigo and with a little bit ink. We're doing the, the shadow, the underneath leaves. Okay, so now I, ha I use the same brush. So I'm having some leftover vermilion here, and then I mix a little bit with the ink. Now I got my brown. So then, um, Accent it with a little ink. And then I'm using the same color with my twig brush, which is great for vines. Then 
I'm going here, follow this. And then I will do a little bit leaves on the vine. So this is my simplified composition from Ning Ye's 108 Flowers, um, book four. So if you have that book, pick it up, do your practice, and happy painting. And I will have ne um, Evan to go to the other table to film some of the comp uh, different variety I did on the pumpkin before I start filming.